testing today is maximum effort, fellas. Maximum, maximum test. effort testing. So once we warm up, Don will take you through and explain each test as we get to it. Plenty of recovery between tests, so make sure you give a maximum effort. We want to see where the guys are. You know, obviously the guys have been through a lot this preseason, and with that coming back from um, COVID and, and all the rest of uh, the issues that they've gone through um, with the way Melbourne's been locked down, we've prepared them to a certain point. Now we're we're, we're moving our training phases to another area and uh, we're trying to test and see where the guys are at with regards to their agility, their speed, their power uh, and their conditioning. We're starting with a 20, yeah? Yep. Anyone not testing, bit of support? <laughs> got the clap going. Go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Waddy. Let's go, Waddy. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Bubba Sam. So with uh, the court testing, you're looking at uh, basketball specific movement patterns. You're looking at, you know, a 20 metre sprint, which is about a three quarter uh, distance. You're looking at a lane line agility. So guys sliding, moving uh, forward, backwards, sideways. You're looking at uh, changes in, in um, direction. So you're getting a lot of pivoting and turning and sprinting between distances. So that's very specific to the movement patterns on the court. Make sure you see smudge sanitized and we'll go. Let's go, Joey! Yes, Wadi! Good chili! Good chili! Good job, Mac! Good job! Nice! It's a faster so far, so it's good. But typically, you don't have this much time to prepare for a season. But at the same time, if you, if you flip the script, you have so much more time to prepare the guys as best as possible and lead in to, to really work on strength or speed or, or flexibility or mobility. So I feel the guys are right on track where we need to be and that's been shown with, um, with the testing that we've, we've done so far. Good job, Chris. Good job, Chris. Good job, Chris. It was very pleasing to see that they were recording very good times in the agility and speed tests. Good job, Shelley! Shay Ely was pretty impressive. Very quick. Let's go, Shelley. Mitch McCarron was another one. Sam Short was very, very good too. I should have mentioned Udai, he was very quick as well. Let's go, Bubba Sam! impressive athletically, so I think that will definitely benefit the team. Nice! Good job, good job. It's a good indication of what they've been doing, how hard they've been working, and where they're traveling, uh, and where they're moving forward to. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer come, what for? Train in the trees, please walk my I'm gonna start on that cage. You're gonna do a pull and it's against resistance, so you're not gonna move, you're just gonna go hard as you can for about two, three seconds. Then you got your deadlifts, we'll do a couple of warm-ups and then we'll get into the big lift. Bench press, bench pulls. Bench press and bench pulls are at 65% your body weight. You just gotta get up as quick as you can and push it as quick as you can. All right, you ready, bro? Let's hit it. Let's go, Joe, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hard, hard, Joe. Good. In the gym, we're looking at uh, relative strength and power compared to their body weight, um, what they are able to do, to do again in a vertical motion, uh, both uh, lower body and in a horizontal motion, both upper body and lower body. So we're looking at different types of tests on the court and the gym, but we're trying to gain a picture of their athletic profile. I climb too hard to fall, but too hard to drop. Stop clocks on the speed bag. Uh, this type of testing, from my knowledge, has been uh, performed by many leagues, depending on sports and what you're looking for. Obviously, the tests we've selected are specific to basketball. Some of these tests are also based on uh, rate of force development. So how quickly you can apply that force, uh, develop that force and then apply it into um, what you're doing. Let's go. Up strong, up strong, up strong. Good, relax. Sam McDaniel was very impressive. Beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, Chris Golding, David Barlow, 
um, Mitch McCarron again. The guys are really sort of showing some good numbers. So uh, it's not always about how much force you can move, but how you can express that force and how quickly you can move that force. Good. As soon as you pick it up, come down, explode up. I think the guys are do doing really well, really well. And given that uh, yeah, we're, we're talking about a possible mid-January start, I look at it uh, as a perfect sort of time to tra transition into our next part of our program. And then, you know, hopefully uh, get even better and get even uh, stronger and faster and more powerful.